To be honest, I see a lot of it as proof that Bitcoin is a popular investment option. Right now, it's the most sought after investment asset in the world because it is not tied to any one nation, currency, firm, quarterly result, product cycle, rival, weather, war, employee base, or supply chain. This innovative, digital, global, and distinctive asset does not correspond with traditional risk assets. Therefore, it is an appropriate investment for a conscientious person to have in their portfolio. Michael Saylor, who is both the creator and the executive chairman of MicroStrategy, has praised the current Bitcoin rise, saying that it shows how popular Bitcoin is becoming among big investors. Saylor recently made the observation in a CNBC interview that institutional investors had long awaited the chance to invest directly in Bitcoin. He stressed the practical uses, saying it might attract investments totaling hundreds of billions of dollars. As a result, Saylor expects a flood of capital pouring into Bitcoin. Price increases are being caused, in his opinion, by the fact that Bitcoin's demand is now 10 times larger than usual. His prediction is that prices will keep going up, especially following the anticipated supply shock caused by the 2024 halving event. Saylor also addressed MicroStrategy's rebranding as a Bitcoin development company during the CNBC interview. The rebranding, he said, is a reflection of the software company's success. There has been pent-up desire for 10 years. There has been a lot of anticipation for these ETFs. Lastly, though, Bitcoin is accessible to mainstream investors. And I believe it is the main reason behind the influx of cash into the asset class. People were shifting their money around between the futures market, miners, microstrategy, and ETSAPs at first, which caused a rebalance. However, I believe the assets regained their stability after that rebalance. It is only now that the public is starting to see that the demand for Bitcoin from these ETFs is 10 times more than the supply from the miners who are the actual sellers of the cryptocurrency. It was announced that you rebranded the company, changing the company's name to reflect its focus on Bitcoin development. I don't understand. Well, considering how well our Bitcoin strategy has worked and how unique, holding more Bitcoin than any other public firm in the world, because it is an operating company rather than an investment trust, MicroStrategy has greater leeway to actively manage its capital structure and business activities. This includes spot Fs. Thus, we shall create software. We will produce revenue. With the help of the capital markets, we will increase the amount of Bitcoin available to our shareholders and contribute to the expansion of the Bitcoin network. We feel it's only fair to refer to ourselves as a Bitcoin development firm just like you would a real estate development company or a petroleum development company, since the bulk of our business value is now derived from Bitcoin-related operations. Going from on-premises to cloud is what we're now doing. And artificial intelligence is a major factor in that change. This means that our new AI product is well-received. Additionally, we integrated it into the cloud service. Similar to how Microsoft's Copilot AI product is generating buzz and sales. We anticipate that our AI solution will hasten the transition from on-premises to cloud computing. Plus, it will help us expand our firm in the long run. You know, we're lucky to have the ability to actively and creatively manage our capital structure. When it becomes clear that the stock market is the ideal place to buy Bitcoin, we do just that. On the other hand, we have experience with conversions and are still monitoring the market for them. Our debt can be refinanced. We have experience with debt retirement and refinancing. Consequently, we could decide to issue debt. We might pay off or restructure our debt. Anything that can benefit our shareholders, such as preferred stock issuances, is also being considered. We strive to maintain an open mind, exercise caution, provide careful consideration, and seize opportunities when they arise. For Bitcoiners, the alert is a good thing. Given the current state of affairs, Wall Street is undergoing a test of intelligence. You will do very well on this exam if you paid close attention in economics class.
These Bitcoin exchange traded funds receive daily inflows of hundreds of millions of dollars. Additionally, the net production of new Bitcoin is only around uh, $40-45 million USD. Thus, daily demand exceeds supply by a factor of 12.5. The price must rise to meet the demand if there is a significant shortage of supply. In light of this, I anticipate that the next two weeks will witness Bitcoin's price steadily increasing. So far, Bitcoin hasn't encountered any obstacles, has it? It dropped from 47 to 40,000 because GBTC was dumped by everyone. Our numbers have mysteriously jumped back up to 50,000. 50,000 is also a psychological level, in my opinion. There is a great deal of enthusiasm. Their argument is that we are heading back towards our all-time highs. In most cases, it occurs as soon as Bitcoiners begin to utter it. Does it not? It seems like you finally found the next big wager. Tell us about that. Consider the Bitcoin uh, TF as an example then. Invest in Bitcoin for your portfolio. Wall Street has now acknowledged it. People are increasingly eager to gain access. Thus, various Bitcoin ETF issuers have emerged. Altcoin exchange traded funds ETFs are where the next major run in stocks will occur, in my opinion. Forget the specific coin or protocol. What I mean is that I anticipate a banner two years for the issuers of altcoin exchange traded funds. I've staked three wagers on this. I put money into Bitwise. A firm called 21 Shares was where I put my money. And then there's Defi Technologies, the lone publicly listed firm. All three of these aim to expose people to assets in a fundamental way. Which one you choose is irrelevant to them. They merely want to facilitate your investment in this environment and industry. And I have faith in the abilities of all three. Bitcoin is a decentralized organization, which is one of its beautiful features. No chief executive officer, executive committee, or advertising group is in place. The marketing campaign, however, is pricing. The higher the price increases, the more people start talking about it. It is the topic of our discussion today. A growing number of investors are taking notice. They invested money. This positive reflexive mechanism will cause the price to rise steadily, which in turn will increase the amount of buzz surrounding it. And that is the cause of the show. Then, what is the highest point ever? It has a record high of $69,000. Knowing the exact result of a course is the most exciting part. However, do you believe that you will make an effort to test it this year? In my opinion, we will reach a new peak before the year ends, particularly if the annual inflow of hundreds of millions of dollars into these ETFs continues. A lot of it seems to me to be just indicative in light of Bitcoin's rising profile as an investment option. Right now, it's the most sought after investment asset in the world. It is fresh. It is electronic. Across the world, it is found. You won't find anything like it. Additionally, it is not linked to conventional risk assets since it is not dependent on any one nation. Currency firm.